He's had more schooling behind prison walls than he did growing up. Went to school, I wasn't very smart in school like that. I, 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 I was good at drawing. But Carlos Don Stoltz didn't become an artist. He became a convicted killer and has spent close to half a century locked away as a prisoner of the state. I hate to say it in front of the officer right there, it's hell. It's really hell. Some people think you should go to hell. That's what they want. I know it. Now one of the oldest serving inmates in Texas, Stoltz escaped the death penalty in 1972 and is serving two life sentences for the brutal murders of 11-year-old Karen Kubat in Grand Prairie and 17-year-old Kathy Jones in Mejia. Nobody believes me. Nobody. Prosecutors from back then say it was an open-shut case with Stoltz confessing to the murders. But decades later, the boy who was good at drawing is now painting a different picture. Did you kill Kathy Jones? No, I did not. Did you kill Karen Kubat? No. Did you rape a girl in Oklahoma? No. Have you ever committed any crime ever? I burglarized a house, I, uh, 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 I stole a car, yes. His previous criminal record was just icing on the cake in Jones's case. In court, you didn't say you didn't kill her, you tried to plea insanity. No, I did not. I didn't, I didn't say nothing at all. They did. Stoltz claims he was manipulated and wasn't the one who stabbed and raped the high school baton twirler in her home on her lunch break, despite a mountain of evidence. But you confessed. You took I them did to not the knife. Confess. They I found your not. bloody clothes. I did not. You didn't confess to the polygraph. No, ma'am, I did not. You didn't take him to show, where, show you where the knife was. No, ma'am, I did not. I wouldn't be doing that if I was I'm, I'm blind. Stoltz is showing me a ministry license. The convict claims to have found God, and while his records are confidential, he says he's pursuing a master's degree in Christian studies. You understand that men of God confess, they repent, yes, they own up to what they did. Yes, Do you think that's ironic? When I told God I did not murder nobody, I did not murder nobody at all. I told him, you know everything I've ever did in my lifetime. And I'll tell you. He says that's what he'd do if he ever got out, preach and tell the word of God. I want to go to the ministry where I want to really go to. I'm already, they've already got me scheduled to be there with them and everything like that. But it seems that these people don't want to let me go. They want to keep me on my life. And so I die here. And nothing I can do about it. Well, she went to Brandon, These too. people are the Joneses. And those who worked the case who are still alive and year after year continue to protest Stoltz's release to make sure his entire sentence is served. While thousands are still writing into the parole board on behalf of the victims, Stoltz has outlived any family members who could speak on his behalf. What is that like? Being in jail, being alone. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to be alone. And harass me all the time. And they call me all kinds of... Depending on if you talk to Stoltz or the state, this is somewhere between the 26th and 30th time Stoltz has been up for parole. In all that time, not once has he tried reaching out to the family of the girl he says he never knew and never hurt, and still isn't apologizing or accepting responsibility for their loss. If they was here right now, I'd tell them that I did not kill your daughter. That's for sure. And I put my hand on the Bible. I'm not that type of person to be killed, Some, somebody that, that, that defenseless, as you would say, and come out of here and say, oh, look, I look what I did. That's not a man. Some people wouldn't say you're a man. They'd say you're a monster. They can say anything they want to say. If I had to be in the rest of my life, I'll be in the rest of my life. But when the time comes, and I go, and I go, I gotta get out of here, and I go up there, then they're gonna pay the price. 
no one has paid a bigger price than the Joneses. Kathy's mother, Florence, says she has not forgiven Stoltz and thinks if she ever saw him, she'd, quote, claw him to pieces. Reporting in Beaumont, Rissa Shaw, KWTX News 10.